Hey guys, it's Alyssa Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. For today, I wanted to talk all about my fancy faux hawk. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Would you believe me if I told you that this hairstyle does not take me longer than five minutes? Yeah, sis, I'm not lying. Less than five minutes is what it takes to achieve this faux hawk. And it makes me very happy because it's a nice dramatic updo, it's a nice change. And it's fun. So if you're interested in seeing how I like to achieve my faux hawk in the cutest, simplest, easiest way possible, then continue to watch. All right, so I am starting with day two hair. It is 100% dry. When your hair is drier, you get that volume. And for this kind of hairstyle, you're looking for that volume, especially in the middle part here. So yeah, you wanna make sure that you're starting out with 100% dry hair. Okay, so I'm gonna start on one side first. And the first thing you wanna do is start slicking these edges. So I'm grabbing the hair gel from the Cashmere and Caviar collection by Curls. I like it because it's very moisturizing. Like it's probably the most moisturizing gel that I own. Um, and I also like it because it gives like a light hold, but it also adds sheen as well. I'm just gonna apply the gel. And then I'm taking a brush and just smoothing in the gel. All right, so once your edges are smoothed over and prepped for the style, then we move on to step two, which is the major key. So I'm going to go ahead and use this clip. Now, I'm not 100% sure of what these clips are called. I'm just gonna go ahead and call it a comb clip. You wanna make sure that you get a color that is similar to your hair. So these come in like a natural brown shade like this. It also comes in, I think, a whitish, clearish looking one. I also have black in it. So you just wanna find something that's the most similar to your hair and use that. All right, so with one hand, you're gonna wanna hold up the section that you're trying to clip. And then you're gonna take this clip and make sure that the curve is facing away from your head. So when you're combing up, it's facing that way. So we're gonna comb up, push it upwards, and then just comb down to secure it. And that's that. All right, and then I'm gonna go in again so we can catch a few of these hairs in the back here. So again, we're combing up with the curve pointing away from our body. And then point down to secure it. Ta-da! See, so we've got one side all pinned back and good to go. Easy, right? I didn't lie. This is like the easiest hairstyle ever. So then all you gotta do is repeat those same steps to the next side and that's it. And then again, the clip pointing away. When you comb up, you flip it down to secure. So comb up, flip down. And then I just like to go ahead and kind of poof out wherever it needs to be poofed out and then play around a little bit with the front hairs. I think I'm gonna go with a little mini bang just because my hair, she's tall now. Okay guys, I have long hair. And that's it. But you know one thing, I think this hairstyle could actually use a little bit of drama. How about we get some earrings? Yes, okay, that's what gets to the next level. I'm good. So that's it guys, that's it for this tutorial. I said no lies when I said it would take under five minutes to do this. Those comb clips really are the real MVP though, like. Couldn't have done it without them, so special honorable mention to the comb clips in the back and in the fro. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so you can keep up with me and my natural hair journey and continue to see some of my crazy cool hair tutorials. Or at least, I think they're cool anyway, if I do say so myself. But yeah, guys, I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.